everybody, what's going on? I'm the... Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm the Tim Eister, and welcome back to Dunswell. In this episode, guys, this is going to be a real interesting one. I can't wait to get into this. I'm going to be designing and starting the city's public transportation network. So we're going to be dealing with a little bit of bus infrastructure and a lot of metro infrastructure. So we're going to start off by building the city's metro network. So this is gonna be a quite extensive project and yeah, I can't wait to get into it. But before we do anything, I just wanna take like two minutes to explain what's gonna happen. So as I explained in the past, I kind of left this big empty space here because I wanted to make the city's main train station in this area. So, you know, this is gonna be like the main hub of the entire city. So from the train station, this will kind of act as the main uh, metro hub as well. And like I said before, this city is heavily inspired on Vancouver. And if you know Vancouver, you'll know that it has one of the coolest public transportation systems, maybe in the world, I don't know, but it, it certainly is one of my favorites. And what I'm referring to is the SkyTrain. And if you don't know what the SkyTrain is, it's basically an elevated metro line or metro network that goes throughout the entire city. So I want to kind of create something very similar in Dunswell. So the hub's going to be in here, uh, right in the central part of the city. And then these sunken metro lines are going to sprawl out from downtown because I already have all of this built up. I don't want to really destroy anything uh, by making an elevated metro, but outside of what we've built uh, will be kind of where the metro lines sprout out from the ground and then they will be elevated. So what I have in mind, and feel free to let me know any tips or anything that I should improve on guys, because I'm not very knowledgeable that much in you know, public transportation networks. Uh, so anyway, what I have in mind is from our main central hub, there's gonna be three lines. One of which is gonna go through downtown, make its way to the industrial island, and then it's gonna make its way north. And then I'm not sure what's gonna happen from here. Maybe it'll keep going like northeast or it might loop back and go west. I don't know, but all I know is it's gonna go through downtown, up through the industrial island, and then up over the river. The second line is gonna again go from the hub make its way south and then west onto this part of town. So eventually these are all gonna be suburbs and whatever, uh, this metro line will go that way. And the third line is gonna go down, it's probably gonna follow the same line as the west line, but it's gonna break off and go east and then eventually make its way southeast. So it's gonna go along like this entire kind of flat land here and make its way towards the outskirts of the city. So this is probably gonna be exposed to like all residential zones and whatever. So that's what I have in mind to start off with as far as Metro goes. So there's gonna be train stations in the future. I'm gonna make a bus network, but as far as Metro lines go, that's what I have in mind. And most of the network that's outside of this downtown island is going to be elevated. So it's gonna be pretty neat. Uh, so I am really going for like a hub and spoke type configuration because everything is going to converge to the main train station which is going to go right here. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking. Well, I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to talk about different things now. Um, let's get into the main train hub. So first I, I want to make this, this road network here as efficient as possible. So first I'm just going to move this um, fire station out of the way. Maybe just scooch it over here temporarily and we'll move it again once the time comes. So let's do this. I'm going to change this into a one way. Go in this way. And then I'll have another one way going that way. And then I'll have a one way going this way. So this is now some sort of roundabout. And what, what I have in mind, so in between these one ways will be a nice plaza. I'll have to make like a custom park or something, but this will be a big plaza. And this is just to make the main train station a bit grander. Like, you know what I mean? Just to, because it's the main station, I want it to look nice and, and cool. So the main train station is gonna go right here. Boom. 
And of course, with this being a terminus station, we have like 10 lines just going outwards. And this will not be functional by the end of this episode, because of course, you know, our border ends right here and our train lines will have to stop. So maybe next episode uh, or whenever we unlock a new square, I may buy this one maybe. I'll have to see. But anyways, we'll have to connect this up at a later date. So it'll at least function as a metro hub for the time being. And actually, let's check right here. I believe, yeah, so we're almost a capital city. We're just uh, 4,000-ish, 3,500 people uh, short of the capital city milestone. And then we unlock another square. So maybe by the end of this episode, we can see what we can do with that extra square. All right, so from here, I think before laying down a metro line, I should probably lay down some stations and I don't want to lay down just the default stations because I have the content creator pack for all of these magnificent train stations and metro stations and I think there's a couple of bus stations in here too it might just be train and metro anyways there's a ton of stations that we can place down in the city I was kind of playing around with them earlier and uh, there's a bunch of them that I think we can get to fit really well into to the city. Uh, one of those stations that I find is really cool is this Metro Plaza. The only problem I have with it is it's pretty massive. Like it's almost the size of the train station. And another problem is there's five lines that run through it. I think that's just a little, I think this is a little too heavy duty for this city. And because the lines are kind of going diagonal, I don't know if I can make this work. Um, but I mean, that's not a problem. I mean, there's a ton of other cool stations that we can lay around town. So let's start with the very first one. Um, oh yeah, okay, so before I go any further, I actually wanted to take care of one thing. This bus station doesn't really make any sense over here. Like, it's not a terrible place to put it, but I feel like a better option would be to have it right by the rail station. And this just makes it easier for passengers coming in by train if they want to hop on a bus to go throughout the city or you know what I mean. Just It just makes it a little easier for the passengers to go about um, you know, moving around the city. So what I want to place here is a inner city bus terminal. Now inner city bus terminals accept buses from outside of town so they accept like um, like coaches uh, but they also accept like inter city or intra city I guess would be the, the more appropriate word buses because um, they, they have like a couple of stations within them so I think I might place one of these down um, I feel like there should be like a nice plaza or something here I'll place this down. I feel like th this was $65,000 and I think this was like 80,000, but look at how much money we have in the bank. So <laughs> that's the least of my worries. Um, I think there's a bunch of plazas. Yeah, look at all the plazas that we have. I think a nice plaza should be right outside our train station. Maybe an official park. Uh, it's a little small. Uh, let's see here. These are just a bunch of buildings. Sparkly Unicorn Rainbow Park. Uh, no, I think we might pass on that. Let's just go throughout our parks here, see what we got. Fountain of Life and Death. Friendly Neighborhood Park. I feel like... Hmm, I thought there was like a, a large plaza that would fit nicely in here. I, I was just kind of playing around with all the different unique buildings. Oh, I think this was it. Yeah, fantastic fountain. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It fits right in here. And then what I'll do is I'll just use a surface painter to like fill in this grass area with pavement. Here, let's do that now actually. There, so this makes a really nice looking plaza. I'll just move this tree over a little bit. Uh, 
There. That actually looks really nice. And it acts as a unique building too, so it's going to raise land value around the park. And you can already see the effect of this, so it's upgrading a bunch of buildings. So this is great news. So for the train network, um, yeah, let's go ahead and lay down some train tracks even though they're not going to be in use for quite some time. But if I lay them down... See, one of my concerns with this was if I lay down like a bunch of train tracks, it's pretty much going to cut off like this entire section. But maybe... I don't know how well this is going to work, but if I just... bring this down to 8 meters... And I can work on that slope a little later. Maybe if I just sink this entire network into the ground. And then I can just build bridges over it as I need. That might be the best idea in this case. Oh crap. I forgot to lower it. Here. Let's go ahead with that. So I'm gonna go to negative eight meters because that's like the minimum requirement to, uh, to build a bridge. Oh shoot. Here, what I'll do... I'll just bring everything to about here. So we have a total of one, two, three, six lines that come into this station. It's a pretty big station. So now, why don't I just smooth this out a little bit? Something like that, and then... There. That's not too steep. And then from here, I'll curve this inwards. And then I'll have this rail line continue on straight and then merge up with the rest. Or with. Actually, wait, I'm gonna double this up. So we'll have two train lines going like that. These two will merge together, and then the rest will just kinda converge um, just like so there we are and that actually looks really nice it doesn't cut us off at all I can just build bridges over these lines as I need I may have to add some pillars though let's see how this reacts oh look at that oh no <laughs> just barely enough room for a pillar so I'm just gonna copy some pillars from other bridges around town using move it and then I'll just plop them along these bridges here and it's only for this section anyway but yeah that's not really in the way of anything I mean it just cuts off a little bit like from this bridge to the station but that's not really a concern well I'm happy with that so let's leave this as is for now I don't want to get too deep into the train stuff because really the main focus for this episode is the metro system. So, let's take a look at these stations that we have. Because um, we have a ton of different stations. I'm really not sure which ones are going to fit where. But, we have a Sunken Island Platform Metro Station. Open to the surface, this below ground station has two platforms. One up line and one down line. And then I think we have the double version of this, so I think this can accommodate two lines. Ground Station has four platforms, two up and two down. So I'm thinking that probably the double station would be the more appropriate station for downtown, just because it's just because it's downtown, you know what I mean? Um 
All right, so I'm gonna start with the north line. So this line's gonna curve into downtown. It's pretty much gonna follow this main avenue somewhat. And I feel like this, the first station... Oh yeah, and another thing too, these can, they, they, they kind of like go under a road. It, they're really cool. I just kind of plop them out of town to see what they look like. And they're really neat. So where should I place this? Oh yeah, maybe right here by this park. That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna destroy a bunch of buildings, but... Oh shoot. I had anarchy on, so it's not gonna fit here. It would fit here though, just... Let's do it. Oh cool, okay, we can actually have some buildings in between here. But that's actually pretty neat. I think that's okay. I don't know how I feel about these buildings right here though, but I'll leave them for now. And then maybe we can have like a small plaza here that... Eh, I don't know. Let's have some offices. Alright, so we got our first... Alright, so we got our first station down. So this is the first station. How many stations should there be? Like how densely packed should I make these stations? I'm, I'm really not sure. Cause I mean, stations in real life are pretty densely packed in a downtown setting. Maybe I should have one. You know what? In the future, I'm actually planning on having um, a large passenger ship terminal over in this region, I'm thinking. So this probably would be a good place to have a metro station. Now, we are in a little bit of a pinch over here. There's not much room to play around with, so I'll have to be very mindful of where I place these stations, but I'm just looking at this and I think, I think like right here would be a good option, just along the water. And I can move this around too in the future, but for now I'm gonna place this here. It may not be the most used station in town, but Anyway, all right, so then let's move a little bit more east. Now this is more of, it kind of looks like a more suburban area, but this is gonna get built up eventually. Um, and I think for this, I'll just go for the single sunken platform. And perhaps right by this high school would be an appropriate spot for it. You know, I want to be careful of where I place these because I don't want my metro lines to be too... Uh, I don't want the curves to be, like, too tight. But let's go ahead. Let's try that here. Oh, it looks very similar to the first one I placed down. The only difference is... So here there's two tracks, one on each side. And then I'll zoom in to this other station. You can see here that there's one on each side and then two in the middle. So, a little more efficient. All right, so we have one there. Now this is gonna cross over into the industrial lands, but I feel like instead of just crossing right over into the industries, it could maybe swoop down and service a little bit of this area. Maybe I can have a station like right over here. It would just be like a regular station. Oh yeah, I should explain here. I never explained that to you guys. So uh, the roundabout once upon a time was right here. So this was all filled in with like, this was all filled in with like the roundabout and whatever. I feel like there should be a nice park in this, uh, in this spot, you know, right under the tunnel. So I think this would be an appropriate location. Oh shoot, but the tunnel's in the way. Okay, well, I suppose it's probably not the end of the world, but it might be because when I go to put down my tracks, this is gonna get in the way.
Hmm. And should I just place it down on the main street a little farther down the, the road? Maybe. Let's do it. So, I, I don't know if this is going to work very well, but anyways. Alright, so we have four stations so far along the northern line. That kind of swoops around. And then... So this subway system is going to cross onto Industrial Island. Why not make this section elevated? I'll just make the station along this main avenue where we haven't built up yet. Um, because this station is actually really cool. And I already have an idea. Watch this. Alright, so... I think... I think I'm going to make... A four-lane road going out this way. That'll make its way into uh, the oil sands. Okay, I wasn't even sure if this was going to fit over a wide road, but it does. And let's place it here. Or should I go for a bigger one? A dual island. Here, let's see. Let's see which one fits better. Elevated bypass metro station. I don't think I want to bypass Metro Station. I, I was reading a little earlier what that does, and uh, it allows trains to just swoop by the station without stopping, but trains are going to stop at every station on this network. So what do we have here? We have this smaller station, or we have this bigger one. Uh, which one should I choose? I feel like... I feel like this one might have more capacity. I think I may be better off going with this one. You know, I feel like this may be quite a busy line. Yeah, let's go ahead with this one. Okay, so the next station I think the next station would really just be on the other side of the water. Or at least maybe I can have it turn in and we'll have a station closer to like the oil sands, but I don't know. We're not there yet. And what I'm thinking of doing too is something like what we have over this bridge. So you can see how the rail, the trains just kind of go between these two bridges. Oh, look at that. We got a train going across. A freight train. But yeah, I'm going to have this kind of configuration, but with the metro network going across the bridge here. So this will be this line. It'll kind of do an S turn and then go across the bridge, which I'm assuming is going to be at the narrowest point of the river here. But I think we'll just get into that a little later. First, let's, uh, let's just start by connecting all of these stations up. I think that's the best option. So I'm going to start over here. So of course this is elevated and it needs to make its way underground. Uh, how am I going to do this? Can I just go... Can I just do something like this? Okay, it's not terrible. It's not bad, I guess slope doesn't seem excessively steep so I think I'll just go ahead with that and then we have to connect up this station so I'm gonna have to make a sharp a pretty sharp turn unless I do something like this This rail will kind of do a little bit of an S maneuver and then make its way into this station. Okay, and that, yeah, and here's going to be the challenge. I don't know how this rail line is going to react to the tunnel. Oof, and it looks like it doesn't like it. What am I going to do here, guys? I may just use anarchy. 
and just plow through it. Like, or what if, can I go this way perhaps? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's gonna be challenging too because uh, we have this underpass. I have an idea. I have an ingenious idea. Watch this. If I lower this enough to like negative 20 meters, or let's, let's maybe be a little more conservative. Negative 15 meters. Okay, maybe that wasn't enough. Let's go all the way down to like whatever this is. I'm just using move it at this point. Oh, still not enough room. Okay, I guess at minus, oh look at that, minus 21 meters is just enough. And I don't think that's too crazy of a slope. It's not bad. And then what I'll do from this point, actually, I'll lower this down to 21. And then just, yeah, simply connect this up to the next station. Bring this up to, oh god, I don't even know how, how deep is this? Negative 12. So I'll bring this up to negative 12, and then connect it up like so. Beautiful! And these two stations can be easily connected up, just by doing this, and then a slight curve. Now one thing that I'm kind of mindful about, and this is purely aesthetic, like it doesn't really matter, um, but I don't like the subway systems to have like jagged curves and even though they're underground and they're not visible from the surface, I like them to be, I like to be elegant. And then I think I'm gonna have to curve over to the left in order to kind of swoop in and catch this station. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Perfect, look at that. And just like that, we got our first line down. So let's get started on the southern lines. And I think, here, let's plan this out a little bit. Let's strategize. Or actually, let's just do it like we did for the first section. Let's just start laying down stations and then seeing where this goes. So I think the first station should be what other kind of stations do we have? We don't have much as far as metro stations. We have like three stations. But this might be cool. Let's, let's do this, a sunken bypass metro station. But at the same time, it's kind of unnecessary because I don't want trains to bypass any station. They're, they're gonna be stopping at every station. But I, I suppose that's not... Oh yeah, we should have one station near the uh, university campus for sure. But this looks like way overkill for a metro station. I think I'm just gonna go for the single metro station here. You know, something like... We'll just go ahead and place this one down. Keep it simple. All right, and then the next station down the line, maybe just a couple blocks further. Nothing fancy, I'm just gonna go for a regular station. And then, and then the next station, um, Try not to destroy too many buildings. Let's have the next one here. 
So this line will only have, well, not only three stations, but for now it'll only have three. And then this line will eventually make its way towards the south. So this will come up like that, and then we'll make a slightly... Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a little too sharp. Let's do this. There. Now I know that's totally subjective. I, I seriously just could have made a sharp turn, but you know, it just makes a bit more sense to have it smoothened out. Okay, so here's gonna be an interesting section. So this, this piece of rail is gonna make its way directly south, and then we'll have a split. So one side of the split's gonna go this way. And then the other side. I'm not gonna do the other line yet. But I'm thinking that the other line is probably gonna go something like this. And then kinda squiggle its way down to the southern parts of town. But uh, yeah, there we have it. I mean, this is really all we need for now. I'm wondering if we should do like a fourth rail line over this way. Hmm. We can get into that later, but at least we have something that's functional for the time being. No, oh, we might have to provide power over here, but let's just uh, you know do the old the old residential bridge trick. And you know, well. Residential demand is not really high, but we can get a few more people in town. Because I really want to make it to 30,000 people. I thought we were going to make it by the end of this episode. Maybe not. Now, next step. Let's get some metro lines down. So for now, we're only going to have two lines, but that's all we really need. And let's start them off at the main train hub. So this is super simple. You're just going to hop from one station to the next. And I can't wait to see how efficient or how non-efficient this whole system is going to work. There, so we have one line. And then let's create new line. Start laying down some stations. And there we have it. Uh, but I don't really like that there's two green lines. Let's change that. Let's just make this one blue. There we are. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so the Metro line is complete for now. Um, so now let's just let it play out for a little bit and see how it goes. But while we're doing that, while we're just letting this you know, the network start to flow. Look at that, there's already some people going in and out of the station. Um, let's get this bus station going. So right now, you can see that it's only accepting passengers from the outside of town. I'm thinking that I'm gonna delete this station and then just replace it with this one. I don't know, is that a wise move, guys? Because it looks to me like these out of town buses may be sharing some of the, the, the pads or whatever you want to call them for the intra-city buses. I don't know if that's a good combination to have everything coming into one station. But I feel like regardless, if, if this station gets too crowded, I can just take one of these regular bus stations and then place it down like right beside, right here. You know, because this entire block could be dedicated to public transportation. That might be the best option. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna pause the game. Well, actually no reason to really. I'm going to delete this station. It's gonna make a whole lot of people 
Okay, I wasn't expecting people to be happy, but anyway. Let's go into the bus networks. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this station and drag it over here. Did that lay down a station? Yeah, it did. So now we have uh, that station just going right to, yeah, it's still kind of making a little detour, but that's all right. So yeah, we're just gonna transfer all of these, uh, the, the bus line to this station and we'll see how efficiently it can handle it. There, well, so with that being done, I think our, our Metro network must be up and running now. Maybe not. Well, yeah, there's a couple of people going up the stairs here. Oh my God, wow, this is a pretty busy station, 159 passengers. Here comes a train. Oh yeah. Beautiful, look at that. Now I have to highlight, I, I got a lot of comments um, saying that I destroyed the pedestrian bridge going from the industrial island to uh, to, to the mainland, I guess. Um, I, I, there used to be a pedestrian bridge here, like in one of the first episodes, if you guys remember. And I destroyed that when I got rid of the roundabout. Now, what that caused was people had to walk all across this bridge and make their way up. So it was a huge detour for them. But now that detour is non-existent because they can just hop on the metro and boop, it brings them right to there. Now, I'm not going to say that. Maybe I'll build a bridge at one point, but I think just having the metro station there is going to help out a ton. And it's going to probably reduce traffic along this main road here too, just a little bit. You know, instead of people having to drive there, they can simply just walk. Walk a little bit and then take the metro the rest of the way. So yeah, things are looking good, guys. Um, is there any way that we can kind of look at some statistics here? I know some of you guys like some statistics. Oh my god, look at that. We're really close to 30k. I think we just we should just zoom our way to 30,000 this episode and then end it off like that. Oh shoot, I need to drag some water pipes. Here, let's do everything we can to make these folks happy in their new establishments in the city of Dunswell. Very beautiful city of Dunswell. I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just throwing pipes all over the place and hoping for the best. There we go. Oh my God, people are already starting to abandon their brand new homes, but I don't blame them. But at the same time, why did they choose to establish themselves in a place where there's no power yet? I don't know, I can't really, I can't really pity them. It's their fault. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I want to check out this main station. Let's see how this guy's doing. 167 passengers a week. This is a pretty busy station too, as I expected. And this is one thing that never gets old, is just watching passengers go in and out of stations and just walking about. It's something that, you know, the developers of City Skylines got so right. It just, it just flows nicely. And by the way, look at the beautiful skyline that we've got going on here, guys. Look at this, like, Dunswell is really starting to look like a city. Um, I'll talk about this for a minute. In the near future, I'd like to take the opportunity to place some of these, um, these unique buildings down in downtown, because look, 
They're like super tall buildings. We can really create an iconic skyline by placing some of these buildings down. We have them all unlocked. So there's really no reason to not place those down. And I really like this building. So I'm gonna do make historical. This guys, uh, so this building is actually based off of a building in Halifax. I never noticed this for years until just one day I spotted this building in some city that I was building and then it kind of clicked. I was like, that building looks awfully familiar. And this building is actually in Halifax, which is like super close to where I am. So it's kind of funny. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode where we are now. Now that we have all of our main infrastructure down. Um, actually, let me just take a look. Before we end, I want to take a look at the statistics of these uh, this line. Can we even do that? Yeah, look at that. Um, okay, so line activity is 24-7. Vehicle count modifier. Is three vehicles enough? Oh yeah, we should actually take a look at our budget panel, really. I mean, we're making so much money, guys. I don't see a reason why not to just max everything out. You know, our budget's probably going to take a hit, but... It's, uh... It's not a huge concern. Let's just pin everything to 100%. 150%. There, so we won't have to worry about this in the future. Did we ever pay off our loan? Yes, we did. We finally paid off our loans. Uh, taxes are sitting happily at 12%. Anyways, I don't want to take up too much time going through all these statistics. Maybe for now, I'll just focus on the subway line statistics. Uh, so yeah, if I go in here, line overview. There, so, okay, so we gained another vehicle by boosting our budget, and I can always move this slider too, but I think four cars is probably okay. We'll just up the ante once we get uh, to a, a busier city. What about our other line, the blue line? So this still has three cars, but this is a pretty short line. I don't think it needs any more than that. Yeah, I mean, passengers, they're not even, like, not nearly filling all of the, the trains. What about this one? And in this line, they're nearly filling them up. So I think, I think we're okay with four cars for now, and we'll expand on that a little later. So, yeah, um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. But I thank you so much for watching. We have some major traffic issues to deal with, but we'll deal with that another time. Uh, so thanks again for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, drop a comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until the next episode, take care everyone.